So we got the bathroom done last week and now we can get back to finishing our laundry room. And I wanted to add some lights in here. We didn't rough in any wires for this, so, or a switch. I'm gonna go ahead and tie all these lights in, and I'm gonna run power down to this receptacle that we have here. And then there's a little uh, remote switch that you can use. Um, so we can put it anywhere in the room, and it plugs into uh, the outlet, and then you plug into it, so that uh, that switch can go anywhere in the room. Kind of a neat fix for, for having these lights in here. So it's just a wireless switch. I've never actually used one, but there's a lot of reviews online that says they work really great. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see how well it does work. I was thinking we should put one on our dust collector in the garage, and right next to the table saw. So you flip the dust collector on, then you flip the table saw, and you cut, and then you flip it off. You don't have to rock around the garage. <laughs> how much was this thing? I think it was like 20 bucks. So you just plug it into the wall, you plug in your um, your power coming from the light, which basically that uh, that's how we ran it. We basically wired it in and we wired it in coming into just the receptacle. So now they have this little modular, gets plugged in, and then you have your switch, which this is just out of the box. Probably needs a battery. I'm assuming that it probably needs a battery, so. That's electrical that I can even handle. Yeah, so basically this is a wall plate and we're gonna screw it in the wall. This will attach to anywhere that you wanna put it. This says it has a 100 foot range, but obviously, you know, for this application you want in the room. So, unless you really wanna mess with that, we can put it in the kitchen, turn it on, turn it off. Is it working? This is a weird looking battery. Yeah, I did put it in backwards. Hey. <gasps> oh! That's pretty nice, huh? That's awesome. I'm gonna have one of those in every, every light in the house. Every light in the house. <laughs> the control panel. be a little bit mad at me but I feel like the thing that this laundry room is missing is a laundry drying rack where you know if you have like a nice sweater or something which someday I'd like to wear nice sweaters but I can't nice I don't because I can't because we don't have the laundry facility to take care of it but even you if um, you had like a sleeping bag that you washed mm -hmm. and you wanted to lay it out to dry how would you do that hang out by the bottom where on a hook. Where? Downstairs. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do in this laundry room is, like, make those things easy. So, if you have, like, a down comforter that you don't want to throw in your drying machine, a sleeping bag, a nice sweater, a nice dress, we have a facility to that. So, above the washer and dryer, we have that space, and we don't necessarily need more storage. I don't pack a lot of clutter, but um, I do want it to look nice and to kind of have that open feel. So what I've designed is basically a floating shelf. And of course there's a, there's a catch, right? Um, it's just a basic floating shelf, but these will 
pull out on full extension drawer slides and there's two of them so you can pull out half of one or a full one and then throw your sweater up on top of it and it's you know out of the way because it'll be right above the washer and dryer and since we don't use it all the time it's really out of the way there's there's an upper floating shelf that's pretty high that one I'll have it pull out and it'll just have a rod so if I need extra hang space as I'm hanging clothes up I can use that so I was thinking if that shelf is a little bit higher and we put empty baskets up there I think we're okay it's it's rarely used up there this is what I'm thinking short people problems yeah, look you got your shirt inside now oh no just okay so I mean, I can't, I'm about six inches from the bottom of the washer here. Here, I'll hold your legs, ready? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so if I have like a six inch depth stool. Okay, so wherever we want a shelf, we're gonna take a two by three and just screw it to the wall. And then um, there's a beam here, so we have to come out around that and box in that. And then this will split it. We can't have a span more than three feet. Um, because the shelf will start to sag so that's why there's this middle one in here and then from there um, we'll put a piece of three quarter inch plywood on top and that'll square everything up and give it some structure so i got a sink in here where i can clean my fish now i got a drying rack so i can dry my <laughs> snap my fish sticks and then you could put it all in the drying machine oh yeah and, we put it on the dryer huh? and um yeah, no, you're not doing that. It's a win-win here. <laughs> We've got a vent blowing outside so yeah. it stink up the house. So, well, at least you're, at least you're kind of excited about this project. So I am it's... excited about this project. sure that these guys that come out are really square if they're not square they're like off a little bit your drawers aren't gonna slide good from there we'll build these drying racks that are on drawer slides that'll fit in between the two by threes and then we'll add the faces to the front and then for the upper one the lower one not so much because you can't see it we'll add quarter inch plywood to the bottom so even when you are looking up at the shelf, it looks fully finished and you can't even tell that it's a, it's got a hidden purpose to it. So just a one by two frame here, and it's just pocket hold together. We used a hardwood to make it sturdier. So if it all works towards a plan, like what Anna's got in mind, she should be able to do laundry and hang it up. And then be able to take this, go put it in the closet, put it away, right? We're happy with uh, the way everything's operating and sliding, so now we're going to go ahead and put a bottom on this, and it'll look like a hidden shelf. So this is nothing fancy, just quarter inch pre-stained uh, material.
So we got the drying racks done. They're actually really awesome. I was kind of like, eh, I'll just try it, see how they work out. But now I'm really excited about them. And they actually slide really good. And they disappear really good. And I can think of a million other ways that you could take a floating shelf and put a drawer and actually make it usable. But I still want to do one more project here. I feel like it needs something. And this area here is really bothering me. Just because socks fall back down there and I'm the one that has to crawl back there and get them and it just looks really messy. So um, Jacob's going to be really mad at me. But I was thinking about taking like one by tens and building basically a cubby here that fits behind these washer and dryer and then I'll cover it in material so it looks like it's a wall and then like you push on it and it pops up and you can keep your dryer sheets there and your spray and wash and all your like little specialty cleaners can be in this little compartment that pops up and then it pops back closed so sorry <laughs> we got here 18 gauge brad nailer and it's loaded up with inch and a quarter brads So, it doesn't look like much, but I, that's the point, because I want it to kind of look like it's, part, it's a wall behind the washer and dryer. So, what I've got now is some, um, I've got some three quarter inch plywood, and what I'm going to do is I'll put it in there, and I'm going to cut some grooves with the table saw, so it looks like it's planked, and then I'll put some hinges here, hinges here, and maybe like a little pop release spring and these will pop up and expose the inside. I gotta add some knobs here but in there we can still access the panel we can put like our uh, specialty detergents our dryer sheets our spray and wash stuff like that can go in here it's really accessible it's easy to get to but it's out of sight out of mind and then these just close up so and I'll give a link to where I downloaded this art in the description so you can um, download these, print them, and get the same artwork in your laundry room for free. So we got the laundry room done. I mean, 99% done. But um, Anna wanted to put a final touch on the laundry room. She wanted some tile to put as a backsplash behind the sink here. And I think it's a really good idea. We have this leftover from the kitchen. We got three boxes. Why not burn it up? It's called Happy Wife Clean Laundry. <laughs> I'm just going to start in the center, work my way out, up the wall I go, done. So the central vac just keeps ending up in the laundry room, the big giant hose and all the fittings in the power head. So we're going to build this organizer that will go behind the laundry room door. So the big projects are knocked out. We got the hutch done, we got the laundry cabinet done, we've got the floating shelves done, we've got the shelf, I don't know what you would call this, the over the dryer washer shelf is done. We got a bunch of small little things to finish up on this laundry room before we can show you how it works. So 
So the last time I was pregnant, if you remember, we built this stool and that was four years ago. And look at this thing. I mean, it seriously is like still brand new. It's still super sturdy. Um, the secret to it, well, there's two secrets to it, is we built it with pocket holes. So it's really strong. And then we painted it with an oil-based, I think it was like a door paint, but I mean, it is like brand new condition despite being used like many, many, many times every single day and hauled around from room to room. So I'll link to the plans for this if you're interested in building it too. Finally, a place for our iron. That's not in the edge banding drawer downstairs. How does that look? So what's the move? sign for? It's so you know when you look at your clothes and it has that symbol, it means tumble dry low heat. Tumble dry gentle, do not tumble dry. What is Laundry it? for dummies. Where do you see those symbols? On your... <laughs> I can't believe you're even asking me this. <laughs> you haven't done a lot of laundry. Okay, so in your clothes there's a tag on the back and it has those symbols. Read the symbols, hmm. especially if it says do not bleach. <laughs> do not bleach. Nice. Okay. Hey, you learn something new every day. Okay, let's see if I don't want to make sure this isn't dragging on the ground. Okay. I think that's pretty good, right? Yeah, so we just threw this little iron holder organizer thingy today, uh, some scrap wood, and we stained it classic gray. It's it's inspired by another shelf project, but um, that we'll be showing you pretty soon. That makes it so accessible. We can use that. Okay, so let's get this sign. What do you think? Right there? So this was a free printable too, and I'll link to it in my blog post where you could download it. Just one dead center? No, not right there. Oh. <laughs> That's why he wants to put one in the center, because he only has one. <laughs> Okay, so our laundry room is done and I just wanted to show you kind of how things work. So have everybody in the family just throw their laundry here except for the whites go in here. And this, isn't this cool how this just was a perfect accidental fit and I had it like it's meant to be. So whites go in there, everything else goes in here. The dryer is done. All I have to do is open it and then this drawer is it's got a slatted bottom so I can pull stuff directly out of the dryer and into it. You know, if it's something that I need to hang. Um, I can do this. And what I really like about these floating shelves is I can hang this on multiple different spots. So what I'll do is I'll hang all of Jacob's clothes here. And I'll hang all of my clothes here. And I'll hang all of Grace's clothes here. And then can hang all of Hayes' clothes here so it's already organized and the kids just have to grab their row of hanging clothes and put it away. For stuff that doesn't go in the dryer, I can put that up here on a drying rack and let that dry. I leave the bottom shelves in the hutch empty so as I'm folding clothes I can use that as extra space. And then I have plenty of room to lay all the clothes out and then fold it and then it gets put away. Um, the older kids put away their own clothes so I've got the baskets up top. What I'll do is just pull one down, fill it up with Grace's clothes and then she takes it up the stairs and puts it away herself. So that's the laundry process and so far it's working pretty good. I use this other drawer here. Um, we're going on vacation soon so whenever something comes through the wash that I know is for, that we're going to want to take on vacation, I throw in that drawer and um, I call it like a special drawer. So the drawer below it, I'm throwing the baby stuff in it. So I'm getting ready for that. So as I'm doing laundry, it just accumulates in there. And this drawer down here, um, it's empty right now, but it's for clothes to donate or hand down. Our house is equipped with central back, but the hose is super annoying to put away. So what we did is we hid it behind the door and we've got a little organizer, all the little tools are here, and um, you know, the, the back head's here. It's easy to just pull it out, and then when the door's open, the doorknob actually goes in there, and you can't see it. 
so it's completely hidden. I love this laundry room and how well it's functioning and working and I always say like make it easier to do something than to not do it and this laundry room definitely makes that happen. It's easier just to do the laundry than it is to let it pile up. It might be a really small laundry room but it's my dream laundry room and it's working well. You actually like doing laundry now? Well yeah, who wouldn't like doing laundry in here? So, <laughs> Other room checked off on the list and we're going to move on to the next. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next Monday. See you next Monday.